we're back now. And earlier this year, you remember that we had the open studios. It was all in conjunction uh, with some art events that were taking place in the spring. And it's time to maybe start thinking about the upcoming open studios tour here in the Midlands. So I'd like to present to you Dion Gilbert. She is a local artist and was uh, pleasant enough to come today and bring some of her artwork and talk to us a little bit about what it's like to host an open studio. So thank you for coming and welcome. Thank you. It's nice to see me. you. So open studios, let's go ahead and define that for those of our viewers who might not be familiar with the concept. It's kind of like a, a tour of homes, but in fact it's artists' workspace instead. Exactly. So we just arrange our workspace to be more hospitable. <laughs> and uh, you know, in my case, I have uh, my studio behind the house. So I have a wood, it's very nice. I work pretty much on the wild stuff, so it fits very well in the wood and everything. It's very pretty. And I love <laughs> sculpture, it's one of my favorite mediums, so beautiful work here. Uh, these carvings you. are lovely. I want to say, because I know the benefits of a consumer, someone like me who gets to go inside the artist studio and kind of see your motivations, the things that inspire you, exactly. um, the space around you would help me get a better feel of you as an artist and maybe even understand your work a little bit better. But what I want to know from you is what is it like from the artist's perspective? Um, is it intimidating having folks come into your house? Not at all. It's quite the opposite. Actually, that's the best show for me because I feel at home. I am at home. It's very just to receive people in my house, in my studio. Uh, no, it's not intimidating one bit. It's really, really uh, agreeable, you know. Just, I, it's really my favorite moment. Now, show. your favorite moment, that's awesome. So for artists who might be considering this, um, do they have to like clean up their house real good or kind of get it all set up? Or Yes, but in my case, the studio is behind the house. It's another uh, building, so I clean up my studio very well, but the guests don't have business in the house, you know, so. And from what I understand, yeah. you're also able to sell your pieces without a middleman, so you get to pretty much keep all of the proceeds, so that's a great benefit for the artists. It is, it is. <laughs> well, very nice. Um, we are taking submissions right now for the 701 Center for Contemporary Arts Open Studios. Here's the deal. It costs, what, about 100 to 150 dollars typically? It is, and they have also a 50 dollar deposit that they give you back after the, the event. Okay, fantastic. And you can save even more money because what I understand is we do have uh, a $25 early bird discount. Before if, the November 1st. Okay, well, we only have a couple days left then, right? Yes. Uh, well, fact. Dion Gilbert. And it's I'll also be for uh, Lexington and Richland County artists. So Lexington, Richland County artists mm -hmm. can still uh, register, getting yes. a $25 di uh, discount, discount if they do it before November 1st. First, and it's and a great experience, and I think you'll make some new friends. I ended up going to an open studio very near my home, and uh, now I see this Come artist all mine. the time. <laughs> I will absolutely be coming to yours. And Dion Gilbert, just in case you forgot, make sure she's on your schedule for the open studios. And if you're an artist interested, of course, uh, get in touch with them at 701-CC. And the deadline is December 1st. December 1st, the register. final deadline. Yeah. Early bird discount deadline, November 1st. Dion, thank you so much for coming in. Lovely welcome. work, by the thank way. Thank you. We'll be back with more. Stay with us.